Leroy's Pokemon Black and White 2 Walkthrough, Part 64. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Giant Chasm. We are inside the Inner Cave and we've got past Team Plasma because the ex-Team Plasma Grunts are helping hold them off. So we get to go up the Icicle Mountain to board the Plasma Frigate. This part here is a little bit tricky, but wind around that way. And then you're up here at the top. We can finally go on. Um, but yeah, I just want to re-emphasize how awesome Matang is, the Pokemon that you can catch here, um, in the forest. It is so powerful, man. Really hard to catch, though. But Metagross is the greatest Pokemon, like, ever, dude. It's so powerful. So yeah, here on the ship, he's, he's terrifying. Is he even human? He has a silly-looking quillfish hairstyle. Apparently, Hugh is roughing everyone up in here. They don't even think he's human, but check this out. Kiram is still gonna be back here held prisoner. I'm surprised no one's like guarding this place. They still haven't put the barriers back up like, yeah, that kid got in here and took him down. We're not gonna reactivate them or anything. I wish I knew how to work all this machinery though. I'd release them or try to catch them or something. But yeah, you can ignore this whole half of the plasma frigate. We need to go to the other half that we haven't been on yet. Yeah, remember that door that was being blocked off by the guy sleeping? Yeah, that's a great way to block off an area. They're like, let's throw a sleeping guy out there. It worked with Snorlax in two different spots in the Kanto region. Um, but speaking of two, we have a double battle. Yeah, Team Plasma. We're getting ambushed. He's like, Nave, I do ambush thee. This person's like, oh, ho, ho, you've been ambushed. Yeah, seriously, two of them coming at me at once. So we have a double battle that we're all alone for. Um, but that's okay, because I can finally send out two of my own Pokemon, which I kind of like more than... Well, actually, I don't mind fighting with you. I just like having, uh, two Pokemon get experience points. Um, so yeah, I have my two lowest level Pokemon out front, Pinsir and Unpheasant, but they're both pretty close to leveling up. And let me use an X-Scissor on Scraggy, I think. Superpower would be, um, a better option, but I don't want to get my attack and defense lowered, so... Yeah, and I'll use a return on Trubbish here. Pretty easy Pokemon to deal with. I think these trainers actually start off with these really easy Pokemon, but then send out some stronger ones, so... Yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what happens, I guess. Hopefully this X-Scissor knocks it out, though. I know it's not super effective. Ooh, so he's gonna crunch me. Darn. Well, yeah, I guess he has pretty good defense. Um, but next up is Golbat! Ooh, that actually poses a threat to Pinsir here. So I'll finish off Scraggy and I'll have Return attack Golbat. I never know what Return actually is. Like, uh, what does a Return actually even mean? But whatever. Strength will finish you off, and I probably should have used Strength on the Golbat since he's a little more uh, threatening than Scraggy, but whatever. Hopefully I don't get knocked out by something here. Um, and hey, I'm up to level 46, which, do I learn a level, or no, maybe it's level 47 that I get a new move. But I gotta take an air cutter! Not too bad. Um, ooh, next up is Whirlipede. Alright, perfect, so, I'll have Slayer finish off the Golbat, and Avian can use Fly on Whirlipede. That is super effective. So yeah, you know, at first in the game, I was a little worried about Avian's strength. I didn't know if he would be able to... You know, match up against all these stronger Pokemon, but so far he's been pretty dominant um, in the later stages of the game, I'd say. So yeah, don't worry about catching yourself um, a Pita. It actually works out pretty well, in my opinion. Next up is Garbodor. Garbodor, whatever. Um, ooh, well, I might just have to use Strength again, I guess. Kind of my best option. x Scissor's not very effective. Superpower's not very effective, so... Yeah, Garbodor will probably be able to take a hit here. But I bet that'll get Avian up to level 47. Yeah, I had never used Unpheasant before, but I'd say, um... Yeah, I'd say it was a success. I mean, we'll see how he does in the Elite Four, but... So far, I've been pretty happy with him. And darn it, I was hoping I might be able to knock him out with the attack boost, but... Clear Smog is gonna put my stat changes back, so that's kind of annoying. I have six hit points, though, so... Hopefully a superpower can knock out Scrafty, and I know I can take out Garboarder with a return, but... Yeah, we'll see if Slayer can pull it off with only six hit points! So yeah, do return whatever that move actually is, and that'll knock him out. The more friendship, the more power. If your Pokémon just really likes you, he's like, I'm gonna hit him extra hard with this return. Um, but yeah, please knock him out, even with high defense. 
No, he's like got one hit point. That is not fair, dude. Please hit Avian. Aw, oh, crap. Well, Pinsir, you tried your best. You were just like 1% shy of knocking him out. And he gets the Moxie boost. That's what I should be getting, but... Oh, I gotta send someone in. Uh, let's go to Claydol. Yeah, I don't really need to send anyone in, but whatever. You can get some experience points, too. I'll just... whatever. I'll just use Quick Attack. So, yeah, this battle actually took quite a bit, but they both had three Pokémon, so... I guess they did progress um, with each Pokémon. Each one got a little bit stronger. But there we go, we took down a couple of Plasma Grunts. Yep. I lost! No! Plasma! Their Plasma Cry is just so stupid. But yeah, now we can check out the rest of this place. He's like, lose! Just go ahead and lose already, man! You're too strong! Farewell, forgive me. Alright, so this warp panel, I'd be like, what the heck, where did I just go, man? I'm teleporting all over the place. This is not cool, man. Um, but this guy might scare you at first, but remember him? He's actually a former Team Plasma member, and he's been waiting for me. Yeah, he knew I'd get on here eventually. Um, he says spying's a rotten job. He was trying to contact Rude, but, you know, we're the only ones that are able to show up and help him. And he says that everyone is talking down on Lord N. They just don't understand that Lord N... Um, bettered his own ways to change towards a better path. They're all just calling him a betrayer. So everyone in Team Plasma all hates N now. Yeah, kind of ironic, isn't it, that everyone's, you know, following in the footsteps of Getsis. But he will give you some tips on the pipe maze, which is coming up. Um, it's actually not that tough, though, so we'll cover that when we get there. And right now, you're left with two paths, actually. Um, and yeah, you can't go up here. This will zap you back, just like before. So yeah, they've got some new electric barriers up, but apparently there's a device that needs a card key to enter a password. So that's what we're gonna have to take care of. Actually, in White 2 version, um, you did the password thing earlier on in the game. In Black 2, it's a little bit different. They're flipped. It's kind of weird, but uh, I'm gonna revive Penser. I didn't want him to get killed in that last battle, but that's what happened. And we don't have a healing spot for a little bit in here, so... I'll revive him up, and... I might have ran out of Moo Moo Milk, actually. Let me just use one of these fresh waters. I have a bunch of them from the gyms. Might as well use them. So that won't quite heal them up 100%, but I'm okay with that. Um, so let me take the right path and fight this guy. Let's go, man! I trained myself endlessly for two years to get justice for Team Plasma. I won't lose to anyone anymore! Dang, two years of training! Holy crap, dude, that's a long time. You're probably at level 100 by now. But he's got one Pokemon. I think he's got... Oh, it's a Crocodile. Well, at least he fully evolved it. Would have been kind of embarrassing to have trained two years and not fully evolve it. But hey, man, I've only been training since, like, I don't know, my game time's probably like 15 hours. I have all sorts of Pokemon at the same level. So you're just an amateur. But yeah, X's are super effective. Oh, holy crap, I'm not gonna knock him out. I guess I gotta take a foul play. Um, I guess he's pretty tough, though. He is fully evolved level 47. Can't expect to knock them all out in one hit, but... Yeah, there we go. Pretty tough Pokemon right there. I always liked Crocodile. Used him the first time I played through Black and White, actually. And he was awesome with Earthquake and Crunch. Um, but yeah, there we go. I hope that two years of training was worth it, man, but, uh... There's a trainer over here, too. You know what? I kind of just want to get down there, though. Um, I'm gonna skip that dude. I don't think I've skipped a trainer in a while, but let's get on to this pipe maze. All you gotta do is step on this one. It works if you're on either side, and you'll be able to go to the middle, so you can grab this item over here now. And it's a zinc. My question is, like, who's just leaving these items around in, like, particularly complicated spots to get to? Um, this is kinda cool. You have Team Plasma Grunts underneath down the stairs, but you got a couple of trainers to fight first before you can go down there, so... Let's do it! What's this? Do you think you can beat me? The one they call Queen of Team Plasma? Whoa, you're Queen of Team Plasma? You didn't even capitalize the Q, so you can't be that important. But yeah, here's Team Plasma's Queen, apparently. Yeah, I don't think you're really, like, classified as Queen. I don't see you wearing a crown. You don't have any cool battle music. You're just a regular grunt. And she's got Eradicate. Yeah, don't underestimate Eradicate at all. I'm gonna use an X scissor on him. Um, yeah, he's fast and he hits pretty hard, man, so he can actually do some damage to you. Dang it, man! Why do Pokemon keep living with literally one hit point? I'm not even exaggerating. You can't even do more damage than that without knocking him out, but... 
Luckily, I'm still alive myself. Um, and that attack boost should come in handy. Since I'm so low on health, I'm gonna need a one-hit kill. But Pinsir is the master of one-hit kills. Oh, and greatest segue ever! Speaking of one-hit kills, we're learning the move Guillotine, which is the one-hit KO move. Now, the reason I don't like this move, um, it has bad accuracy. Its accuracy depends on how much higher of a level you're at than the other Pokémon. If you're at a higher level than your opponent, it'll be more accurate. But it does not work on Pokémon at a higher level than you, which means I don't have a whole lot of use for it, because Elite Four Pokémon are always at a higher level than me. So I will pass on the one-hit kill move, and I'll just rely on my regular one-hit kill moves. X-Scissor, for instance, should knock him out in one hit. Um, but if you're a trainer that gets your Pokémon to a high level, you know, you're gonna come into the Elite Four with level 60 or so Pokémon, then yeah, put on Guillotine, that'll actually be really useful in some situations to get a quick one-hit kill. Um, literally a one-hit KO. And after that, we actually have a Doctor to fight, and this guy is actually pretty useful, because if you defeat him, he'll heal up your Pokémon. So, um, Pinsir's almost down for the count, so let's substitute him out, and... I'll go with Chandelure, who is, uh, always a good option, my Fire and Ghost type. If Team Plasma takes over the world, there should be fewer Pokémon injured. Dude, where is the logic behind that? Pokémon are always gonna get injured! All we do is fight them! Like, we shoot fire at them and beams of ice? It's crazy, man! Of course they're gonna get injured! Like, your Leovani here is about to take a four times effective fire type move. You don't think it's gonna get injured, even if Team Plasma takes over the world? Um, but yeah, he's gonna use a Swords Dance, which will help him for nothing. Um, yeah, Flame Burst. My Pokemon won't get injured, Team Plasma's taking over the world. Yeah, nice try, buddy, but that thing is actually level 49, pretty high level, at least compared to my team. Grr, tell me, Plasma, just what is a Pokemon battle? Uh, what you just did? I don't know, man. Jeez, what are you talking about? Um, don't know what a Pokemon battle is? You just lost one. That's what it is. Um, do you think there will be less war if Team Plasma takes over the world? No, they're freaking at war right now with me. I'm a one-man freaking army, but, uh, here's another grunt blocking my way. Stupid intruders, I'm gonna blast you into space. Yeah, good luck with that, man. It's probably gonna be some villain, some game's mission at some point is to, like, go take over the Pokemon in space. All the Clefairies up there on the moon. Um, this guy's got a Crocker Rock on his team. Alright, alright, I see you. I mean, you should have evolved that thing, but... Here, I'll take him down with a Flame Burst. Oh, Crocker Rock just got his arms crossed. He kind of reminds me of those, uh, dudes in Donkey Kong 64. Those gator-looking things. Anyways, now we got actual Crocodile, so, uh, this one I better use a Fire Blast for. Or he's gonna intimidate me, lower my non-existent attack that I never use. I only use Special Attack, man, on Chandelure. Um, but hey, that's what you get for using Foul Play! My Flame Body ability is gonna burn him, so even if this doesn't knock him out, he's still crippled. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got the Flame Body ability, I really like it, because that happens all the time. Pokemon that use physical attacks are gonna get burnt. Um, so yeah, I'm level 48, that's awesome. He's a- what? Aren't I one of Team Plasma's stars? No, you're not! But I'm gonna grab these two items right here. What, did you not see these, buddy? Yeah, Max Elixir, that's a pretty good item. Worth a lot of money, too. Bet you wish you would've picked that up. Oh, there's a Max Revive! They don't even sell those in Mart! You really should've picked that one up. But, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna stop at this point. Um, we're gonna have this pipe maze to take care of in the next episode, and that's how we're gonna get the password to get us past those electrical beams. So, we know what's coming up in the next episode, we're gonna go down there, fight a bunch of plasma grunts, um, solve the maze, and we'll be one step closer to finding Zinzolin, and, um, making sure they don't take over the world with Kyurem, and, you know, deadly stuff like that. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Next video is gonna be tomorrow. Mark it on your calendars. Unless you're watching this, like, way in the future, because then that'd be kind of silly to mark it on your calendar, because, like, the video probably already came out. You could just go watch it now. Aren't you lucky, man? Aren't you lucky?